It's incredibly common for people to see the social sciences as pseudoscience, such as in comments like this. And I hear this even from people within the scientific community, not just the lay public. And while this is not true, I want to share what I've observed as a former electrical engineer, as a neuroscientist, both working in research in different ways, and as a psychotherapist. See, social science research works with large, complex systems. It's working with individuals and group dynamics. And when we model increasingly complex systems, our models become increasingly wrong. When we model something really simple, it's easy to feel like our model is correct. For example, force equals mass times acceleration. You learn that in your physics class, and it's very straightforward. It feels like a hard science. You've figured out the relationship between two variables. And yet, many physicists will tell you that equation's not actually entirely accurate. It's an approximation that allows us to get some work done in a lot of specific, simple situations. As you get closer to the speed of light, that equation becomes not useful, and you need something far more complicated. And the social sciences, similar in many ways to the neurosciences, are working with a complexity of variables that makes our approximations even more obviously inaccurate. And so then when people observe that the approximation or model does not actually work in a situation that they're involved in, they interpret that as meaning it has no scientific merit at all, rather than appreciating that the models are just that. They're models that sometimes, more often than chance, will allow you to predict certain things, but are not these foolproof, problem equations that allow you to stick some variables in and always get an exact answer out. Working in complexity is not pseudoscience at all. In fact, it is the most interesting of sciences because it allows us to continue with questions that we don't have answers to. And that is actually incredibly exciting from a research perspective.